That's okay. Good morning, everyone. Woo woo! <laughs> Somebody just did it, so I had to do it back. All right. This is a story about a teacher who is helping one of her pupils put his boots on. He asked for a little help, and she could see why. Even with her pulling and him pushing, the little boots still didn't want to go on. By the time they got the second boot on, she had worked up a sweat. She almost cried when the little boy said, Teacher, they're on the wrong feet. She looked, and sure enough, they were. Unfortunately, it wasn't any easier pulling off the boots than it was putting them on. She managed to keep her cool as together they worked to get the boots back on, this time on the correct feet. Then he announced, these aren't my boots. She bit her tongue rather than get right in his face and scream, why didn't you say so, like she wanted to. Once again, she struggled to help him pull the ill-fitting boots off of his little feet. No sooner had they got the boots off when he said, they're my brother's boots. My mom made me wear them today. Now at this point, she didn't know if she should laugh or cry. But she mustered up what grace and courage she had left to wrestle the boots back on his feet again. Helping him into his coat, she asked, Now where are your mittens? He said, I stuffed them in the toe of my boots. <laughs> All right. Um, the members of the Dog Owners Guild invite all pet owners to join us for the annual pet parade to be held on March 19th from 1 to 3 p.m. in the bash area behind the clubhouse. We have contests and games and prizes with dog treats. We also have lots of fun at the pet parade, so come and bring your pets. In the event of the rain, the pet parade will be held on Tuesday, March 26th instead. Okay. Um, presented by the, the Photography Club, there will be a guest speaker, Dustin Angel, on March 19th at 1 p.m. in the community room. Dustin is the education coordinator for the Archbold Biological Research Station. His presentation will be about the Archbold Center and how he uses photography in his work. Please plan to attend. This is open to all. And if you have any questions on that, you can contact Gail Teeter at 863-471-2000. Six two. Going down the list of activities for the week. Today we have bingo. Be here and ready to play by 615. You must have your ID badges to play. Again, tomorrow that pet parade is scheduled unless there is rain. And if not, it will be rescheduled at 1 p.m. Okay, and then also tomorrow we have the special meals at 5.30. On Wednesday, we have the TMAC meeting at 3, and then the HO meeting at 7 o'clock. On Thursday, is the ladies' luncheon at the watering hole. Also on Thursday is the golf cart poker run here in the clubhouse at 6 o'clock. On Friday, we are having the community tie-dye from 1 to 4 on the lower pool veranda. Also on Friday is the Whistle Stop Block Party from 1 to 3. On Saturday, there is a dance with the California Toe Jam Band. On Sunday, there's a special event show, Touche and Mark Merchant at 7 p.m. With that, that I believe is all that I have for this week. I hope that you all have an absolutely wonderful week, and thank you so very much.
Morning, folks. Um, the golf cart poker run is not actually in the clubhouse. You just meet in the clubhouse, and then we send you out. But that's what I am here to talk about. Uh, we're hoping to get everybody started out shortly after 6. So all of you who have signed up, and we have over 210 players signed up, please meet inside the clubhouse spare uh, 22, quarter to 6, something like that. You will get a very detailed set of instructions so everybody knows what's going on, unlike other years when some of you paid no attention whatsoever and went your own merry way. We're not going to let that happen again. Um, the cost is $1 to play. There's still time to sign up to be a player, right, Mary Lee? We can still sign up? Okay. Going to pick that up, what, Tuesday, Wednesday? Okay. If you don't have a golf cart, we can find someone for you to ride with, or there will be an indoor route set up here for those who have physical difficulties, like walking or seeing, you can do the indoor route. There'll be five tables set up, and you'll be playing for the same prizes as the, the, um, the ones who are going out to different houses. You will get, every player gets a, their own score sheet. So everybody who comes plays their own game. The drivers of the golf carts will be the only one who get the route list. So everybody on that golf cart is going to the same route. Otherwise, there's no sense in riding on that same golf cart, is there? We ask you, please, to charge your cart before you come. We have these five addresses for each route spread out as far as possible in the park to make the fun last longer or the misery last longer if it's cold and windy. But um, it would be helpful if you don't know the, the park well to bring a map. And inside the, the little phone books that have been distributed, there is a map of the park in the, the right in the middle by the staple. Now, we have seven routes, seven different routes for you to go on. You will get, like I said, the drivers will get the, the list of the five addresses. The table bosses or house hosts, whatever they're called, if they have not yet been called with the information they need, see Mary Lee over there. Mary Lee is waving. Everybody, all the table bosses will be called, and there will be a meeting for them at 4.45 on Thursday just to get the information and the uh, instruction sheets. And they can play the game at that time inside. Um, I believe that's it. Secondly, craft fair tables are on sale again today. After today, you'll have to hunt me down, but for today, I'm sitting at that table on the side. And did I miss anything? I got it. Okay, thank you. Hi, good morning, everybody. Judith Exting, I'm here to speak on the behalf of the Tanglewood Art League. Today is our general meeting at 1 o'clock in the craft room. At 2 o'clock, Linda Beardsley, a member or resident, wonderful, wonderful artist, is going to be giving her charcoal art workshop. Uh, the supplies for this workshop are quite dear. Linda has bought all new supplies, which she is willing to share with you if you do come for a fee of $10. This is at 2 o'clock today, so we hope that you will all join us, anybody that wishes to come that has not signed or has spoken to me. You can give me a call because we are quite late on this announcement right now. So if you do wish to attend, just give me a call or come and see me, and we will make arrangements for that. Dennis That's Dukesbury, at 2 o'clock today. The Country today. Breakfast. Thank you. I have good news for some of you. The snowbirds are beginning to flutter and soar back north so that we do not have a sellout for the April breakfast. I would recommend that you come to the table down here at Monday Morning Coffee, buy two tickets. Bring a spouse, a significant other, girl, a boyfriend, neighbor, whatever you choose. The breakfast are $4, $4. This coming month, you will have French toast, eggs, smoked sausage, juice, your choice of grits or oatmeal, 
and coffee. You have to bring your own coffee cup. That's the way we try to keep our overhead down. So remember, $4 a ticket, buy two. There's it's no a real a cheap, cheap date, date anymore. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of Broadway Lights Theater Company, we want to thank those of you yesterday that attended our first annual St. Patrick's Day festivity. We had a wonderful time, and it was good to see so many of you. We want to make sure that we send a special thank you to the Tech Committee. They did a great job. And the Indoor Decorating Committee made our tables look absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much. The HOA, yeah, a little handout here with a little applause. It was pretty special. Thank you. The HOA directories, phone directories, should have been delivered to your home by now. The map of our community is in there, so for those of you that will need that map for the poker run, that's a good place to start. If for some reason you have not received your directory, please see me after coffee today, and I'll make arrangements to make sure that a directory is delivered to you. This year, we did not print as many. We've only allowed one directory lunch per household. Thank you. Good morning. Sharon Gilmore, Trips and Travel. Uh, we're getting ready to set the schedule for our day trips and stuff. If you have something in mind that you would like to do, we have a box back on the cadenza. Please put your ideas in there um, as we formulate our calendar. Still looking at March of this year, the 26th is Key West. Looking in October, the Hawaiian trip. Looking ahead to January of next year, we have the ABC. Reminder for the Singapore Dubai, there will be a meeting this Wednesday at 5 o'clock at Cruise and Tours. Good morning, Tours. Luann Thank you. Have a great from day. the Dance Committee. Just so you know that our dance this week is Toe Jam. It's their sunset uh, tour. Uh, we still have a few tickets. Billy has them back there. We have about three, tic uh, three tables in the back. Um, so... If you want to go to Billy and uh, get some tickets, they're $10, the ones that are left. So um, I hope you were able to get tickets for Toe Jam. They are a great local Good band. Good morning. Come I'm on. Lois Williams. I'm co-chair of Special Meals. I have the list of all the people on the Special Meals Committee, which one of the teams you're on. I will be right up here front right after coffee. If you'll come see me, I would appreciate it. Thank Pam you. Pam with uh, Tanglewood Community Church Health Ministry. This Friday um, at 10 o'clock in the community room, I'll be putting on a CPR class. <coughs> Excuse me. It's called hands-only CPR. I do teach everything about it. Some people think, oh, that's all you have to do, just how to push on the chest. Um, you're going to learn how to use the AED. Uh, I have a trainer that looks exactly like the real one uh, we have there in the case. We'll come out and use that one. Uh, the class is only about an hour and a half, 10 to 1130. I have room for three more people. I usually do about 12 at a time. And I'm going to try to have a class maybe every month. And I apologize for not getting into that any, any earlier. Uh, so if three more people want to sign up, I'll have this paper back there on the credenza. And you can go ahead and sign it. And then uh, I'll try to have another class. Okay, thanks, April. folks. Uh, thanks. By the way, Sharon forgot to mention she's in charge of short trips. <laughs> <laughs> it was mentioned earlier that um, uh, about the uh, Irish party yesterday with Daryl Patrick, which was very good, by the way, those of you who were able to be there, uh, and the fact that the tech group and the outdoor, uh, excuse me, the indoor decorating committee worked. A lot of people have asked from time to time, you know, we have a TMAC group of 26 people, and that's uh, 26 committees rather, and it's a very active and very important group to here in the community. Uh, their constitution, if you will, or bylaws always say that anything that is made by a committee has to be returned to the residents of our particular community. And so as a result, with a few rare exceptions, uh, there's no opportunity to contribute to other folks, to other folks out in the community that have needs. Uh, unless a special program is uh, set up for that. Uh, we have about almost as many committees outside of TMAC, and for a variety of reasons. I can remember several years ago, for example, the golf committee was part of TMAC, and because of all the financial things of paying money and 
drove Marilyn, our treasurer, crazy. And they said that, well, let's make things easier by dropping out of TMAC. Uh, there have been groups that dropped out of TMAC for one reason or another. But the purpose of the 26 groups that belong here are for you. They're turning activity money that they may get. Uh, and by the way, we always say that it would be great if we all come out with zero because that's what we want to do. But if we do have money, uh, it has to be turned back to you by our bylaws. The groups that are outside the community, and I'll use the one from yesterday just for an example, uh, the Irish group, uh, they raised money for this particular activity. They paid uh, the, guy, the uh, entertainers. They make a donation to the tech committee, and then they give their money to battered women. Now, that's a heck of an advertisement for Tanglewood because it doesn't go out and say it's from the Broadway lights or from the outdoor decorating committee or whoever it might be that makes those kinds of donations. They make them from Tanglewood, and it's a heck of an advertisement for Tanglewood because we've always been and always will be a community that dedicates its efforts not only to our own, quote, old folks, but we also identify the needs of the community, and we've done a great deal. The best example I can remember, and maybe you, many of you were here, some of you were not, was the cancer drive. The cancer drive was an outdoor, an outside, I should say, kind of an activity. And everybody within TMAC and everybody that had any kind of an organization got behind that, and we were able to donate a half a million dollars over the past few years to the cancer drive for cancer research. They knew it came from Tanglewood. They didn't know if it came from the indoor decorating committee, the special events, or whoever else might have contributed to raising that money. So it's important that we realize that uh, everybody has a function here, and their main function is to provide activity, entertainment, or whatever for all of us. Whether we're doing it for a TMAC purpose, if we're doing it for an outside group, the people that are sponsoring those activities are doing it for us, and we are the beneficiaries of all that. And every once in a while, we're able to be a beneficiary for somebody else, whether it's the homeless group. Some people were selling uh, baked goods last time at the uh, garage sale for the homeless group. And we had another group that was selling for another purpose. And uh, all times that we do that, we do a great job for advertising Tanglewood as being a giving community, which it is. And so as you have questions, ask those questions. But ask them with the idea that uh, we're all in this together. And we all hope that every group will work the other group and, and do some great things. Okay, I'll take my liturgical collar off and uh, go back to uh, the show that we're going to have this Sunday that was mentioned very quickly by uh, Billy. It's uh, Shania Twain tribute and also a ventriloquist, Mark Merchant. Uh, Annette LaFond has been doing Shania for a number of times. And by the way, she's Canadian. So no Canadian can get by without buying a ticket for this show. So we're looking forward to that. She's appeared, as I mentioned last week, at the Great Cup, which is the Super Bowl of Canada. Uh, she's appeared on a Dick Clark program. Uh, she's at the Calgary Stampede. She's a very successful entertainer. Mark Merchant, the ventriloquist, is a favorite of Jay Leno. Uh, he's been on his show a number of times when he was on television. I mentioned he has a particular puppet that I think you'll enjoy, and that's Jose. The American Eagle, and as we said, Jose, can you see? Uh, that's the thing he does. He's also a, uh, the entertainer of the year for Crystal Cruise Lines. Uh, tickets are $15 as usual. We can buy some after the uh, program today, and also you can buy them from Billy, or you can buy them at the door. Okay, Residence Appreciation Week. It's coming up pretty quick. We've already had some of the tournaments. Uh, I don't know what we're up to now. We keep adding a tournament today, it was, or this week it was Mexican Train. Uh, we keep adding these tournaments, and uh, so the book is getting a little thicker, but the neat thing about it is you're putting a lot of names down on those events, and as long as we have a, a um, coordinator and a place and a time, uh, we can have a great activity, and then on the Friday of the uh, recognition week, uh, of course, the prizes are given out in the late afternoon, or early afternoon. You need 10 people in your activity to have a prize, and uh, it's really great. Give your winners to Billy so that she knows where the prizes go. Okay, Tanglewood Almanac. In 1837, today, but in 1837, Grover Cleveland became the president. Of course, Grover Cleveland is known for something I never thought. Was known for something. I guess I've. I guess I must have talked too much. Anyway, anyway, so Glover Cleveland was uh, the 22nd and the 24th 
president of the United States, which means there was a gap in between. And uh, so he's kind of unique in history. Rudolf Diesel, the guy that made the diesel engine, uh, he was uh, born in 1858, and John Updike, the author, uh, in 1932. This day in history, Barnum and Bailey gave its first show at Madison Square Garden in 1881, a little while ago. In 1939, I thought this was kind of interesting, in 18, uh, 1939, Georgia actually ratified the Bill of Rights 150 years after we formed our government. It takes that long to ratify uh, our amendments to our Constitution. And the Boston Braves left for Milwaukee. They took Warren Spahn and uh, Sane and company and went to uh, Milwaukee. And if I get the page turned, we will know that this month is, and I'm sure you're going to all check into this, Colorectal Awareness Month. It's International Mirth Month. And here, I kind of hesitate to do this because I want to know what do they mean? Who is supposed to be aware? It's Breast Implant Awareness Month. So you can decide on that one. Okay, this week is Act Happy Week. You do that all the time anyway. It's Shakespeare Week. It's American Chocolate Week. And today is Forgive Your Mom and Dad Day. It's Well Elderly Day. And it's Awkward Moments Day. Welcome table looks a little sparse. Do we have anybody over there yet? We do not have anyone to welcome. Oh, man. <laughs> Things are starting to slow up a little bit as far as sales go and, you know, people being welcomed. But I do have a couple of announcements. Um, I wanted everyone to know that while I am working on updating the comprehensive uh, Who to Contact list, which is available um, on TWR Times, a list of all of the committee chairs is available in the HOA directory in the front. So if you need to contact anybody, the current chairs and their contact information is available there. Um, secondly, I wanted to let everybody know about the new residence social. It will be after coffee uh, Monday, April 8th. We have snacks, um, some speakers with some great information, and it's open to all residents um, here in, in the RV area as well. And the last thing is, um, Jersey Mike's is having a day of giving on March 27th, that's a Wednesday. 100% of their profits will be donated to local charities. And it's the new sub shop that opened up on the, uh, the Lowe's out properties. So uh, support them if you can. And that's all I have for today. Thank you. Thanks, so of course, bingo is tonight. You want to make sure that you're here by 6.15 to get your paper. And uh, 6.30 will start just in time. And just to keep everybody up to date, I won't be here tonight, so you have a ch better chance of winning. OK, take part in an activity this week. It's very important to do that. Make a new friend. And of course, wave to your neighbors. Have a great week, folks.